Hello, uh, my name is Joel Cugnani from uh, caelinux.com. Uh, I will show in this tutorial how you can set up an open form case using uh, Salome Mecca and then open form as solver and finally Paraview for visualization. Uh, it's quite similar to the uh, pipe tutorial for Code Saturn, so I will go rather quickly and uh, you can refer to it uh, if you want to see more details. So we go to Salome Mecca and we will actually open an existing uh, model that consists in uh, that already contains geometry and mesh and groups for boundary condition. So we open an existing document, it is in computer opt C Linux docs tutorials pipe and it's pipe one dot uh, mesh dot hdf. Um, so we already have the geometry that is defined. So I'm in geometry module here. You can see the fuse one object which contains our geometry. Um, yeah, let's see it like that in this in shading mode. Um, so it's a Y junction. So it's a pipe. And um, if we look at the different groups, we have a group for the wall. So the external faces of the pipe and a group for the inlet here f1 and two groups for the outlets f1 and uh, f, uh, f2 and f3 sorry um, we have already set up a mesh that contains also these groups so the mesh is a tetrahedral mesh uh, automatically generated that's it it consists of about uh, 66,000 uh, volumes. And uh, we already have set up the same groups as uh, mentioned previously. So we have wall, walls for the, the walls, F1 for inlet, F2 and F3 for outlet. So this has already been done. Uh, you can have a look at uh, flash tutorials that I've, I have done previously. It's in the tutorial folder pipe and you have the two uh, pipe German pipe mesh uh, videos to show you how you can uh, reach this stage um, so we'll now set up no, the open form case starting from this uh, this mesh first thing is to export your mesh in UNV format so UNV is universal file format uh, from uh, ideas master Siri uh, software. So um, you can we now create a new folder uh, op CFD open foam and we will save our mesh as um, pipe.unv uh, file. So there's nothing else to do. We save it and that's fine. Now we can move to the real um, open form part of the video. So uh, you go to the CAE Linux menu and there is here a simple form wizard that I've uh, recently added to CAE Linux. So it will help you setting up a case for the simple form solver which is a steady state flow uh, solver. Um, so we start by defining the name of the study I will call it pipe. It will be actually the name of a subfolder. Then the base directory uh, in which the subfolder will be created. So I will take CFD open foam, the UNV mesh file. So I pick it up, pipe UNV. And then you need to specify the different groups for boundary condition. So you need to remember now uh, what are your different groups. So the easiest thing is to open Salome and uh, then to directly uh, look at the different groups you have and, and type them here. So the inlet group will be F1 as defined here in Salome. Um, the outlet group, there will be actually two faces, so it will be F2 and F3. So if you have several selections, you just separate them by spaces. Be careful, the names are case sensitive. And then the wall group will be walls here, as you can see it here. 
Finally, uh, there's no symmetry group, so we can move to the next uh, section. Then we need to define the inlet properties. So the inlet velocity, ux, y, and z, and then the inlet turbulence, k and epsilon, and finally the viscosity. So for the inlet, you can see that the inlet is oriented in the, it's here, it's oriented in the plus x direction, so I will give uh, ux equal 1 meter per second and uy and uz equal to 0. So this is the velocity at inlet. Then for the turbulence, um, I will only put, let's say, dummy values here. Uh, but for serious calculation, you should know uh, the value of k and epsilon for inlet. Uh, same here for nu. So nu is the dynamic uh, viscosity. Um, it's uh, mu divided by rho. Uh, I will put also here a dummy value of 10 minus 3 to have, um, yeah, to have a simple calculation. Um, but actually this all depends on your physical case that you want to study. So once it's done, we press go. And um, the result is running. So you can check in the terminal what it has done. It has actually created the follow structure and then uh, generated initial files for boundary condition and, and solution and imported the, the mesh from um, UNV file format. So you can press OK. It closes the wizard and then you are left in a, in a terminal. So in this terminal, um, you can directly use open phone commands. So we go to the uh, case uh, directory that we have uh, created. So uh, CFD open foam pipe, and that's it. So you see the traditional folder structure of, um, yeah, we'll redimension this so you can see better. So the traditional folder structure of open foam the zero folder that contains the boundary condition and initial conditions, the constant folder that contains the mesh and transport properties, so namely the turbulence and uh, and uh, viscosity parameters, and the system folder that contains uh, all the sol solver options. Um, to learn more about that, I really advise you to, to read the OpenFoam tutorial, uh, because it's uh, too long to explain here. Um, there are already uh, scripts set up to run the case, um, so uh, you can run it on a single CPU with a simple run script, uh, script and uh, you can run it on four CPUs on the parallel run uh, script. Um, if you want to change the number of CPU, you can just edit this script and uh, decompose par file in system director. Um, so I will run it in parallel. So I run it dot slash parallel run. It will automatically split the problem in four subdomains and then run the solver. So this is um, okay. It's, it's quite fast on, on modern computers. Um, but as I required quite a lot of time steps, I will pause the video for for the moment. Okay. So now we are back. Um, actually, the solution took about uh, one minute and something. Um, so at the end of the solution, uh, as it is a parallel run, um, the solution field has to be reconstructed by assembling the solution of each uh, domain. So this is done automatically uh, by the parallel uh, run script. Uh, so now we are ready for visualization. So to use it, to, 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 to visualize the field, you can use directly Parafoam which is Paraview uh, packaged, packaged for OpenFoam. Um, just run it from the case uh, directory here, the base directory of the study, and it loads up. Okay, so um, I will not detail much about how you use Paraview, there are other tutorials, but uh, here you can um, select the properties that we, we read from the file, we'll just take um, the pressure and velocity fields and uh, apply. Okay, so that's the our object. Um, then uh, what we will want to see is the uh, velocity field as a cutting plane 
and uh, the pressure field on the surface of the of the pipe. Um, to do that, uh, we first start with um, um, by displaying the pressure field here. So we can select the output value uh, here. P with the, the box means P defined on cells, so constant value per triangle. And P with the dot is P defined on nodes, so it's a nodal value, it's a smoother um, field. So it will, will use it. And here you have the time step here that you, you can, you can uh, actually play with. So we can play and see the different time steps. Um, we'll only uh, we'll go to the last time step, 100, and rescale here the, the range. If you want to see the range of values, you can go here in Edit Color Map, um, Color Legend, and Show Legend. Okay. So here we see the range of, of pressure. Be careful with open form. The pressure is, is normalized by uh, the fluid density. So it's not uh, the actual pressure, it's P over rho uh, that you have here. Um, that's it for, for, for this part. So you see the pressure field here um, in, in the pipe. And uh, then if, you, if we go further and we create a cutting plane here, so um, we have selected initially pipe open form, which is a source of source of data, and then we apply a slice on this source, and um, we define the cutting plane. It's a z-normal cutting plane, and we just don't want to see the plane itself, so we disable show plane and apply. So that's a cut cutting plane view of our field, and we can see then the velocity profile um, yeah so it looks reasonable here and uh, if we go further um, yeah that's the velocity on, on cells so you can see velocity on nodes it's even smoother so now we want to display uh, the two fields superimposed so velocity and, and pressure so I will activate again uh, the initial view and then uh, put some transparency. So I will reduce the opacity of this field. So you can see, um, yeah, with my translucency. Okay. My computer has some display problem with this. Um, but anyway, that's what how you can see both. So I won't talk much more about uh, post-processing. Um, it's a science in itself, um, so, but you can learn more on other tutorials on the web uh, regarding open form. So uh, I hope that you learned uh, uh, and you appreciated this uh, tutorial, and uh, if you want to learn more on the subject, you can visit us at, at uh, caelinux.com or caelinux.org for the wiki. So thank you.